Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's grade 11 functions class. This is 6.5 using transformations to sketch sinusoidal functions. Um, so we're going to be using sine and cos, of course, because these are our sinusoidal functions. Just a reminder that A is the amplitude, K affects the period, D is the phase shift, so left and right, and C is the axis. Um, we're going to sketch four things and then we'll be done. So sketch and write using sine and cosine functions. When you do sketch, you need to label at least five significant points per period. Any more than five is a bit of an overkill. So we're going to make sure that we do label five significant points. So let's get started. I know my amplitude is equal to two. My uh, period is going to be 360 over three, which is 120 degrees. And I know my axis is y equals negative one. You notice I've actually drawn three lines here. This is going to be my maximum, my axis, and my minimum. And I'm not drawing my axes in yet, like as in my x-axis and my y-axis. Um, that's because I would just like to get the shape in first, and then I'm going to uh, draw where those axes are. So it's actually easier to draw the curve first, and then put the axes in. So this one is y equals negative one. This distance here is 2 because that's the amplitude, so negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And this distance here is also 2 because, again, that's the amplitude, so negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So I have those points in. And I'm just going to do my negative cos. So negative cos looks like it starts at the bottom, uh, goes up, and I want to split these into pretty even, uh, pretty even intervals. So there, maybe, and this distance to here that there and then this distance right here goes down to there. So I'm just going to connect the dots in a curvy and attractive manner. If it is tough, take a break and then just keep going. The more you practice, the easier it gets. And just make a big dot. Okay, there you go. So now I'm going to put my x-axis in because I know where my 1 and my negative 1 is. So a 0 is going to be right in between those and label that axis as x. And then my y-axis, well, if I had a phase shift, I would have to worry about it because there's no phase shift. I know that it starts right at the y-axis, so I will just draw the y-axis in there and label that as well as y. So, and then let's just put the numbers in here, y1, negative uh, 1, and negative 3, like that. Then I can erase the other side. Um, so that's going to get erased. You don't have to erase it, but it's a little bit messy, so I just want to get rid of it. And then I'm just going to find all of these x values, and then I'll be done. So I know my period is 120 degrees, and so half of the period is where the maximum is, so 120 divided by 2 is 60 degrees. Divide by 2 again, so I get into quarters, so 60 divided by 2 is 30 degrees, and add 30 to 60, I get 90 degrees. So that is my entire graph. Now it asks me to write using sine and cosine. I already have the cosine, so I'm going to draw it in sine. So I know y is equal to 2. I'm going to use actually positive sine, but you could use negative sine if you want. It's up to you. y equals 2 sine 3 x minus 30 degrees minus 1. So you can see that my 2, my 3, and my negative 1 are from here. And I'm just changing the phase shift because it's sine, and sine starts at 30, so it's x minus 30 degrees. Okay, so what you might want to do is pause the video and try all of the questions. Again, starting with the three max the minimum, axis, and maximum, and then going from there. If not, you can follow along with me. So pause the video now, or we can come along. So. We're going to do this one. We can see that the amplitude is 1. Actually, I write amplitude is 1. Um, and this is actually not factored, so we're going to have to factor it. 0 0.5 times x plus 90 degrees. Uh, and then there's no axis, so the axis is equal to y equals 0. And I have a period equals 360 over 0 0.5, which gives us 720 degrees, and we have a phase shift to the left 90 degrees, okay, because it's plus 90, so it goes into the left direction. Um, so again, I'm just going to label my axis y equals 0. That's actually the x-axis y equals 0, so I'm going to just draw the x-axis on top, and so the 
uh, numbers here are going to be 1 and negative 1 because that's the amplitude, so this distance is 1 and this distance is 1. Uh, and my phase shift is left 90, so I'm just going to start by drawing out the graph. It's negative sign, so it's going to start at the axis, go down, and then back up, up to here, and then back down again. And I'm going to draw my y-axis last, so don't worry about that yet. Just leave it alone for now. I'm just going to connect the dots in a curvy and attractive manner. Hopefully they're pretty symmetrical. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do your best. Um, and then I'm going to use my period at 720. So I know that this distance, actually let's use our phase shift. This is going to be negative 90 degrees right here. And this is going to be negative 90 plus 720 because this whole distance here is 720. So negative 90 plus 720 is uh, 630. So that's where it ends, 630 degrees right here. And so if I divide divide 720 by 2, I get 360. So negative 90 plus 360 gives us 270. And then divide by um, divide by 2 again, I'm going to get 90, or sorry, 180. So 180, negative 90 plus 180 is 90. And 270 plus 180 is going to be, uh, <laughs> plus 180 is going to be 450 degrees. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is write my y-axis in, and I know it's going to be halfway between negative 90 and 90. That's why I'm doing it last, because I can really see where it goes, and if it's the wrong place, just, just do your best to position it so it looks like it's halfway. And uh, we'll write our y here and our x here. Label these numbers on the graph, and if you like, you can erase it on this side. And I'll erase this too. And there you go. It's done. Uh, we'll write the cos in, and you can choose positive or negative cos. I'll choose negative cos since it starts right here. So y equals negative, amplitude is 1, cos uh, 0 0.5, x minus 90 degrees, plus 0. Done. Next y equals 4 sine x minus 90 over 4. So this is actually already factored, um, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, my amplitude is going to be equal to 4. My period is equal to 360 over 1 quarter. So that is equal to, oh my gosh, 360 times 4 is 1440, I believe. 1440. Um, and my axis my axis is y equals 3. I just remember I forgot my phase shift. My phase shift is 90 to the right. Okay, so let's start sketching that. It is positive sign, so again it's going to start at the axis and it's going to go up and then back down, uh, all the way down and then back up. And you'll notice I left a little space here because I am moving 90 to the right, so I know that my axis is going to be over here somewhere, so I want to give myself space to move to the right. Okay, so I'm going to draw the curve in a curvy and attractive manner. Ugh, ugly, but okay. And <laughs> I'm going to label my axes, so y equals 3. I know the amplitude is 4, so this is 7, and this is negative 1. That tells me that my x-axis is between these two, so because this is 3 and this is negative 1, it has to go through 0, so somewhere around there, quarter up, and I will label that as x, and then I can start labeling the phase shift is 90, so this is 90, and 90 plus 1440, because this whole distance is 1440, it's going to be 90 plus 1440, 1530, just label it on the x-axis, 1530 degrees, um, halfway, so 720 plus 90 is 810, and then half of that again, 360, so 90 plus 360 is 450, and 90, or sorry, uh, 360 plus 810, will give us, oh gosh, 1170. I'm sorry if the numbers are wrong, I'm just trying to get it done. Okay, so you can use your calculator if you want. Um, so we can see that this is going to be 360, so our axis is going to be really close to the 90 here, because the scale is really big. So I'm just going to complete the graph to show where it goes, and I'm not going to label the y-intercept though. 
So this is y, and I've got my five points labeled. You can see I've got the y values and the x values shown, and that's it. Okay, so if we want to use positive cos, because that's right here and it's easy to find, I know it's at 450, so uh, y equals positive cos, so 4 cos um, 1 quarter x minus 450 degrees plus 3. Okay, again, keeping that, keeping these three, and just worrying about the phase shift. Last one. So sketch and write using sine and cosine functions. So again, we're going to do the same thing. 2 cos 2x plus 2. So my amplitude is equal to 2. My period is equal to 360 over 2, which is 180. And my axis, y equals 2. So again, we're just putting the axis in, finding the amplitude, so this is 0, so I know where my x-axis is, I will draw that right in, like that, and write x, and then we can sketch, so starting at the, oh, why am I starting at the bottom, I should start at the top, and working our way downwards, and then back to the top, okay, uh, connect the dots in a curvy and attractive manner, Oops, okay, that's all right. And because I have no phase shift, I know my y-axis is right here. And I will label it. And my amplitude, or sorry, my period is 180, so that's the last bit that I have to do. So this is going to be 180, divide by 2, 90, divide by 2 again, 45. And 90 plus 45 gives us the last point, 135. These are all in degrees and we'll put this on the graph and we're done so let's do sine uh, y equals let's use negative sine this time since it starts right there negative 2 sine uh, 2 x minus 45 degrees plus 2 okay the end so do lots of practice um, the procedure that I used was number one, I found the amplitude, I found the period, I found the axis, and I found the phase shift. Number two, I just draw the, I just label the uh, axis, the max, and the min values. Three, sketch the graph using a start with wherever you're supposed to go. So if you're starting with cos, then you're going to start at the max, and then if you're negative cos, start at the min, sign, positive sign, middle, and move up, negative sign, middle, and move downwards. So you sketch that graph. Um, for you put in the x-axis, 5, label the end, the uh, left end, left end with phase shift, 6, we're going to label the right end, the, f the two end points are now labeled, which is phase shift plus the period, whatever the period is. And then seven, you can label all the, label all the, the x values. You do the period divided by two, and then you do the period divided by four, and that gives you each of the intervals. Okay, so that is how you do it. Bring any questions you have to class, and I will see you soon. Have a good night.